Hello and welcome to the Kalashnikova Show. Our special series from Syria continues and today we'll take a close-up look at how Russia's military police operate in the country. We'll also get the chance to join the military police unit on a real-life mission, out on patrol. The Russian military police can trace their history back to the Russian Empire. In the 19th century, special squads were set up to ensure safety and order in the armed forces. In modern Russia, the military police only appeared early this century. And in 2016, it began operations in Syria, where it has objectives in various districts of the country. Hello. Hello. To get into the Khmeimim Air Base, you have to pass through a series of checkpoints with chain reinforced obstacles, metal barriers, and concrete blocks. Among other things, it's the military police that provides security at all the checkpoints on the way into the base. So the MP's objectives in Syria include providing security for Russian military buildings, setting up checkpoints and bringing civil order in districts that are peaceful again after recent heavy fighting. Military police duties in Syria are pretty much unchanged, just as they have been for years. The highest priority of all is to provide security for humanitarian operations in Syria, protecting military facilities, escorting aid convoys, and ensuring safety for civilian traffic on the roads in different regions of the country. Military police units carry out regular patrols, including joint operations with the Turkish military. Of course, military police have their own special vehicles, and the Kamas Typhoon armored trucks are among the most essential. This vehicle is basically an armored capsule that can carry a squad. To know what's happening so they can constantly assess the situation on the ground, the truck is equipped with a few exterior cameras, allowing the passengers to monitor the situation by watching the screens. Other military hardware includes the Gas Tiger armored vehicle. The Tiger is a multi purpose armored vehicle designed to operate in tough environments. I've driven this IMV for a very long time. I can say that it's comfortable and safe for its passengers. The Gas Tiger, with its thick armored plating of up to 7 millimeters, isn't only able to protect its crew against firearms, but also from being attacked with explosives. The vehicle can have different armaments attached, the PKP Petroneg machine gun, or the Cord HMG, or even a grenade launcher. The Tiger can go as fast as 140 kilometers per hour. And including armaments, it can carry up to 1,500 kilograms. And now, as promised at the start of this episode, we're heading out on patrol aboard an IMV along with the military police. On missions like this, military police convoys have repeatedly been fired at by militants and encountered explosive devices planted on the roads. That's why bulletproof vests and helmets are a must on patrol. The Russian military police regularly go out on patrols like this in different parts of the country, 
to monitor safety levels and ensure stability. However, sometimes these military convoys have to make an unplanned stop. In the event of an unscheduled stop for a military convoy on patrol, if, for example, someone's blocked the road, police officers exit the vehicles to defend the convoy if necessary and ensure its safety. If there's an armed attack, convoys have special medivac vehicles to evacuate the injured. Today's objective for this military police unit has been achieved. They may receive a new one tomorrow or even tonight. Don't miss our latest episodes and please do remember to subscribe.